All of the species we see today are still here for a reason. For millions of years they competed with other species and were forced to adapt to the changes on our planet. Most species relied on themselves or their relatives in order to survive, but some have found a loophole. Symbiosis is the act of two different species, or more, living with one another. This can be good for both parties, or good for only one. Let's start with mutualism. Mutualism is a symbiotic relationship in which both species benefit. This cleaner shrimp eats the parasites and dead skin off the fish's body. The shrimp is fed and the fish's health is improved in return. But what if only one species benefits? Commensalism is when one species is benefited and the other one is unaffected. In this scenario, the remora uses suction to bite on the backs of larger marine animals such as sharks, sea turtles, and rays. The remora utilizes the sharks for transportation and it feasts on leftover scraps. The shark is mostly unaffected. Parasitism is different from the previous two. In parasitic relationships, one organism suffers at the expense of another. Parasites can severely injure or outright kill their hosts, although it is generally in their best interest to keep them alive. An example of a parasite is the tongue-eating louse. The tongue-eating louse is an isopod which swims inside the bodies of the fish through the gills, cuts off the blood circulation to the fish's tongue, and then replaces the fish's tongue with its own body. The isopod then feasts on the fish's blood and mucus. Those were the three main types of symbiosis with examples.